I'm trying very hard not to shake. When I think about how I felt, it comes right back. My first visit with Barbara to the hospital, she got H1N1. So we just threw her in the car and brought her in and you know, went right up to the triage desk. They started treating her like immediately. Um, a doctor came over, uh, examined her. I'm in the hospital having an x-ray and then I got helicoptered over to sick kids and that's about all I remember. I would say all within it may be less than an hour. It was very, very fast. Those minutes are very valuable. Having Georgetown Hospital here, able and ready and prepared to cope with emergencies like Barbara is so vital to the health well-being of our community. The doctors and nurses were, were calm, like quick in what they were doing. It wasn't like they were slow calm, but focused and, and taking care of her. They're really nice. Um, really friendly. They really put their care in when they're treating kids like me. It was an amazingly good experience considering how bad it was that we had to even be there to start with. When you can make the diagnosis and treat the patient and have the patient come through like Barbara did, it's very, very rewarding. It's the best part. So I'm still, I'm still on the path to recovery. H1N1 left me with cold-induced asthma. So her ability to to breathe when she gets congested basically went away. She's just doing so much better. A message for the doctors and nurses and the ER staff, even the folks who push the wheelchairs around, um, you're all fantastic folks. Just the treatment my daughter received, the respect that you show the families of the child patients, uh, the calmness and your ability to you know, understand and communicate with us you know, even in situations of duress, you're all just fantastic. Um, I started doing monthly donations to the Georgetown Hospital Fund to support everything you do because of what you did for me. So thank you. I think it's important. I've donated myself by continuing financial support to the foundation. Uh, it helps us provide, you know, state-of-the-art care with state-of-the-art equipment. Dear Georgetown Hospital staff, you do a really good job treating your kids. I say this because you have helped me survive my life. Having H1N1 back then at such a young age was very life-threatening. And I am a lucky person to survive and it's thanks to you for just starting me off that little sliver of hope. I really hope that you continue to put as much care into the kids as you did when I was there. Good luck and I hope you get more stuff to even expand it.